Right, my mouth's a little bit tingy at the moment because I just ordered a pizza, so my mouth's a little bit tingy from all that. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon oh, as okay. possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. All right, thank you. So we're gonna meet with our young friend over here. Uh, oh, okay. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay then, uh, better go to our class then. So... Better make my way over there. Uh, so it's just, oh no, through the doors. Uh, no, it's not. So yeah, I'm not gonna mess around anymore with the, um, with the equipment, I might adjust a few things here and there, but I'm not going to mess any uh, mess around with them anymore. Already had enough of that with the last part, but this time I'm just going to first. Overall, I think I've, it does look pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, I can cope. Thank you. Oh, downstairs. Perhaps you can meet me after the herbology. Oh, there we go. Is she growing Pungus onion again? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. 
I've got my headphones on. Now, everyone. Ah, oh, one of these ones. Mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Okay, hold on. Before we do, oh no, I need to. They are horrible! <laughs> Okay, before before anything else, I probably might change. Um, just one more thing, I probably might just because uh, before I started streaming, I put it back onto unclip. I probably might put it back onto uh, sixteen frames per second. At our potting tables, you can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Cheers. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I enjoyed it. I nearly went deaf. I nearly went I'll deaf. Say, nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy. Or... Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. So I need to wait 10 minutes until it's all ready. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Thanks. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right. Thanks, mate. I don't know where I'm going, but thank you. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. 
Oh. Well, thank you. I knew. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. I keep on getting praise for the... For the defense against the dark arts, don't I? They'll do the rest. Okay, just get the cabbages. Just get the cabbages. I'm sorry. What do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. Uh, okay. Summoned her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking <laughs> daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm, I suppose they could come in handy. Sure, but that's just... Uh... Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Yeah, good idea. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Might as well take some plants. Because I'm a greedy bastard. Oh. Oh no, it is back up here. <laughs> reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves I shall end our lesson here terribly sorry Mr. Clopton Scrowing got about five minutes left I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they I hope they weren't too much trouble oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good as you do seem to be quite green fingered Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As I am plants often so much. Don't care that much about plants, honestly. Uh Yeah, I don't really care. I mean I, I'm a ver I I mean I'm a environmentalist and everything, but I mean I'm not very logical when it comes to plants and everything, unfortunately. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labour. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. God, the, the teachers <laughs> in this school are enthusiastic, aren't they? Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh God, love. <laughs> Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Ah, oh, stop whining. Okay, so let's.
do, 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 do. Wait, which one's this one? I'll learn a new spell. I'll go there. The thing is, I'm really, I really love the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts class, so I'm really enthusiastic about that. So, anytime there's a uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts class, I'm probably just going to go to there. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Yeah, but they don't care about us. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both oh, the potions class, and okay. intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar. Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is complete, is he an alcoholic? each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Basically, potions class is just look, just following the instructions, isn't it? If that's all you really need to do. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm, not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain. And will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Thank you. And now I'm off. Considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a true eyes can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I can get you that. There's. I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit feathers aren't that valuable. 
Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision is key when brewing. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. First. Oh, okay. There it is. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Give it a little bit of stir. Okay. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Oh, Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during this. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What I was impressed that you were able leave. to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never Stop seen sucking his dick, man. A flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, cool. no doubt. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, again, I'm honest, so I'll be honest. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Thanks. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Woohoo! I hate potions. Oh, my robes are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of the Oh, shut up. Quit moaning. <laughs>
No, no. Okay, so take away that and just have that. Okay. So it's a bit of a journey, so better follow the map. Guess it'd be a good time to also explore Hogwarts a bit. Just have a look around, see how things are. You know, relatively, like, despite, like, minor, like, you know, graphics issue, I don't know if that's just because uh, my computer can't handle it or because of something else, but relatively, I am actually having a really good time with this game. Um, I mean, I love Harry Potter. I, I know there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this game. I'm aware of the controversy that... Um, about what J.K. Rowling has said, and I, I don't support a lot of what she said either. Um, but relatively, this is a pretty good game. This is quite a fun game. Uh, I don't think J.K. I mean, J.K. Rowling's views, obviously, her views are disgusting, and I don't agree with them. But uh, I don't think that should take away from the hard work, a lot of the hard work that's been put into this game. Because a lot of hard work is, has been put into this game, and as you can clearly see. Wish I could see what Hogwarts looks like to muggles. Bet it's terrible. Anyway, I do hope that a lot of streamers who do stream this game don't get harassed too much just because they're playing this game. Just go for a little bit of a run. That's pretty. This looks intriguing. <sighs> there she it is. is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm alright at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, 
but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something I found, I can't say. Uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna- I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm, a bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Oh, I just lied to her. I don't like that. I just lied to her. You were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear it. This could be dangerous. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Okay. Thanks. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? What's going on over there? Let's go and investigate. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid back. I see you. I refuse to be treated in this manner. Wait, no. You insolent crap. <laughs> Tell them to find me himself. Wait, uh, when Guardian Leviosa, which one? Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, okay. Oh, I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Good luck with that. Ha ha! I told them off! I'm not going anywhere. You wicked! You can come to the Rebellion! Head in the clouds, this one! Reduct up! Come on, come on.
I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. <laughs> nice coat. Wait, where is it? Oh, there he is. been accosted in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturn Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Uh, how extraordinary. I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fiction. Now they're changing, they're making up Merlin's story now. They're just making up Merlin's story. These vine covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin is a Slytherin. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Malibu is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Uh, just over here? This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Oh, thanks. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. Okay, how do I place the mallet?
Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pirates. Levioso. Uh, what's... Oh, wait. So, what am I supposed to do? You got the mallow, sweet twerk. Now, what to do about these pyres? Levioso. Repair all. Incendio. That's a good question. What am I supposed to do? Because I don't really know. Conjuring fire might work. These are pyres. Ah, oh, that probably makes sense. The flames make the okay. fire sink. Get close enough to them. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Maybe it's a puzzle? Incendio. That's that. Settled. Oh, there we go. All done. Oh! I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Alright, I don't care. Bye. <laughs> All right. What's he doing? Uh, no. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, in the meantime, uh, I think that'll be it for now. But uh, if you wouldn't mind commenting down below, subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.